Okay. Hi, everybody. It's Dr. Midgley from the St. Francis Hospice in Outer East London, and I'm doing a little presentation on where you can find the version four mar charts, our new mar charts, and embedding the new mar charts into practice. With thanks to the Pan London team, NELFT, and um, NHS London for some of the slides. So, the, so where are these version four mar charts being stored? Um, our ICS pharmacy leads are currently working to ensure that version four is embedded in all primary care systems across North East London with an aim to go live on the 3rd of May. Um, you will already have version three on your system, but the aim is to get rid of them as soon as possible. Um, both charts can be used until the 1st of June after which time version three will be obsolete. So it's really important that you get to grips with version four quickly. Uh, the team are going to have set up uh, shortcuts to access the MAR charts from all the GP clinical systems, and they will host some separate webinars on, on this, but here are the shortcuts just so that you know that they exist. And we have provided some alternative places to look, um, which we think will be helpful to our nurse colleagues and to our medical colleagues. So an alternative place to look is the NELFT intranet, and all of our nurses will be aware of that and will get some training and navigation about that. But we've also set up temp um, templates and advice and support on the hospice websites, St Francis and St Joseph's. And I will show you, for example, how to access uh, the Mars charts from St Francis Hospice website. So you can see on the left that I've given you what you track down to. On the right, this is what the opening page of St Francis Hospice website looks like. And you will see the arrow pointed at a let us help you uh, instruction on the first page. If you click into let us help you, you will get this orangey drop down. And the fourth uh, instruct along is professional resources and education. Click onto that and it brings you down to this page. You have to scroll down a bit um, my doctor with the heart shape appears about a quarter of the way down the page and it's there that you can click into resources for healthcare professionals. And that opens up a really useful page for you all about um, symptom control and MAR charts. Um, and that's what the page looks like. And you can click into the second one down to get the blank MAR charts. Uh, but also example charts for all three of the charts that you'll be authorising on. And just a reminder, why are we doing this? Why is it important for prescribers out there to be able to prescribe injectable medicines and to supply authorisation on a Mars chart? Well, the bottom line is it's to make sure that our patients who are reaching late stage in life, end of life, who've got palliative care needs, don't suffer. Um, we want to be sure that in the home there is the ability to alleviate symptoms as quickly and as effectively as possible and to sustain that pain relief over time for those people who can't manage oral medication reliably because they're too frail, because they're feeling sick, because they're being sick, because they're just too poorly for a number of reasons. We don't want them to have to go to hospitalisation just because they can't manage their oral medicines anymore. We want to give an alternative plan. And ultimately, the, the aim is to support people to live as well as possible with advanced illness and to be cared for to the point of death where they want to be, which is most commonly at home. These charts and these medicines give what are called tools in the house for any visiting health professional to be able to do something when they see suffering. Thank you for learning how to complete the charts so that they can be helpful.